they had raised the the middle level folks had sort of said two times EBITDA, half up front, et cetera. Did you go back to the more senior entrepreneurial folks and get kind of give them your number? It wasn't two, it was X or like, yes. did you go back to them with something? Yes. So so I had done the valuation and it is like again, like you know, this is one of the things that that anybody who wants to do this thing that that the value of uh, having good friends, uh, good consultants is, is, is very, very valuable. And it is something that I would say that is, is, is extremely nerve wracking because you are spending money on a potential that may never, uh, materialize, which is extremely, extremely important to understand that surround yourself with people who actually will give you sound advice. Uh, you don't have to listen to anybody. At the end of the day, you have to make your own decision. But having a, a point of view that is not yours, because when you're developing the company, it's your baby and you're emotional. You have to detach yourself uh, because everything that you make is an emotional decision. People who are not vested in your company can give you that objective point of view. And that was very important to me. So, so I hired a company that was, uh, that does standard evaluation. Uh, I could not afford them. So I kind of made a deal with them. And I said, look, you know, I don't think that I can have this thing, but, uh, uh, I think there is a potential that if this company acquires us, you could probably get some future business as well. I can bring you on. So you need to basically give me something. And I said, here's the reason. I'm, I'll give you my homework of how I've come up with a number. So I gave them a, a full research material of why we think that a certain, uh, um, the, 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 the services that we were offering, the company that, that we had built was worth a certain amount. Uh, and so I had a third party valuation which had three columns. One was the standard, you know, two times the multiplier of a beta. It happens with this. Here's the company that basically has gone with five or six times a beta. And here are the companies that have done eight to 10 times a beta. Uh, so they kind of did it in a very smart way to basically say, well, we've done our, it could be, you take whatever you want to take out of this valuation. And I said always that, look, it is, for me, the first two, co two columns do not matter. It's the last column because I'm selling you $105 billion worth of infrastructure consulting work. I'm not selling you what I'm making. So either you take it or you leave it. 